Isaac Newton is one of the world's most revered scientists. Best known for his theory of universal gravitation. And just like his laws of gravity, Newton's discoveries about the nature of light are among his most celebrated achievements. But the story of how that work began is much less familiar. And this time, there was no fruit involved. This is Stourbridge Common, a sleepy riverside meadow on the banks of the River Cam. But when Newton visited in 1664, it would have been very different. For over 700 years, every September, this place would be transformed into what was, at its height, the largest fair in Europe. For several weeks each year, people would descend on the common for an annual festival of commerce and debauchery. This whole common would have been packed with makeshift stalls. Farming produce, brandy houses, goldsmiths, silk merchants. There'd have been slack rope dancing, puppet shows, music, temptations of every kind, packed into row upon row of wooden booths and tents. Stourbridge Fair was a place you could buy anything you could imagine. But when Newton came here, it said he bought just one thing, a prism. He bought it because of the seemingly miraculous effect it had on sunlight. Newton would later write that using his new purchase, he would try the celebrated phenomena of colours. A rather understated introduction to work that would produce one of the most profound insights into the nature of light. The leading theory championed by scientists like Robert Hooke proposed that the colours were added to the light by the prism itself. But Newton devised an ingenious experiment to discover precisely how they were produced. This is Newton's own drawing of what he called his crucial experiment. In it, he arranged a prism so that sunlight coming in from a small hole he'd made in the shutters of his bedroom window passed through it and projected coloured light onto a screen. Well, here's my light source, and here's my prism, which if I arrange carefully, I can get projected onto the back pillar. Of course, none of this was new. People knew that prisms produced coloured light, but what Newton did next had never been done before. He first isolated one of the colours using a slit. So, in this case, the orange light. He then passed that orange light through a second prism. Now, if Hook was right, then this prism should add the other colours to the orange and reproduce the rainbow. But all Newton saw was orange light. The prism wasn't adding any extra colour. He concluded that the colours must have been contained in the white light in the first place. That white light wasn't pure and prisms don't add anything to it. Instead, they split it up into its constituent parts. <laughs> 